All right, guys, it is um, 5.30 p.m. right now, and I am planning to wake up tomorrow at 4.45 a.m. to be at the gym at 5 a.m. And I thought it would be really cool to kind of show you guys what I do at night to prep for early mornings like that. So, so like what I do to prep for 4.45 a.m. mornings. I got so many questions about that in my 4.45 a.m. morning routine, which I thought was not like, which I thought was actually brilliant. I was like, actually, it's really important. How many times can I say actually? Actually, 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 actually. I think it's really important to show the prep for waking up early because it, it, it takes a lot of prep. It takes a lot of breaking bad habits, not bad habits. It takes a lot of breaking your habits that you had in the past. Let's do a checklist. I love a good old checklist. This is all the things that we're gonna be doing tonight. One thing that's really, really important is getting things done as early as possible because I need to be in bed by 10.30 and I need to be asleep by 11. And yeah, that is the plan for tonight. By the way, hi, my name is Janet Domagina. Hello, if you're new here. I make fitness content, lifestyle content, and everything in between. And I hope you subscribe and yeah, let's get into this video. You're the drink, the capsule in the bottle, the damsel in the dress. You come to save me from distress. Stay the week, distract me from my problems. The war inside me. Actually knew it was coming. It wasn't supposed to come until like Saturday though. I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed because it does throw me off a little bit. It definitely does throw me off, but we move. We gotta move. It's been a productive day so far. I'm glad it came later in the day, not earlier in the day, but I've been feeling it coming guys because I've had the worst headaches in the last two days and I've just not been not been feeling great. It's time to get ready for bed. I like to be in bed by 10.30, asleep by 11, to wake up at 4.45. That's just what works for me. And um, we're working out tomorrow despite our period. I'm sorry, I keep blinking. It's just, I need to take out my contacts, guys. They're ready to come out. So we've been productive. It's been great, but it's time to go to bed. So let's go to sleep. I will see you guys in the morning. Time I going underneath my eyes. Watching as I let you take up all my time just to do it over again. Drag me through the dirt, degrade me, mess things up, and always blame me. Smile politely while you tear me down. I don't want. working out this morning the workout was lit it was a great workout this morning I just really pushed myself a little bit more today I've been trying to push heavier and heavier and man the gym was empty I've been pushing myself to lift heavier because I really want to see results quicker and I know my body like whenever I lift heavier I just the weight just falls off 
So I've been trying to just like lift heavier in the gym and I did some sprinting this morning and it was a good time, it was a good time. But let's talk about the midday slump. Okay, we don't talk about the midday slump enough, okay? Because I don't care how many times, I don't care how many times you wake up at 4.30 a.m., okay? I don't care if it's a habit for you now. It is so hard to escape that midday slump. Like it creeps up on you like an old friend. I got home today a little bit later than usual. I helped out at work today. I stayed a little bit behind. I had a lot of energy at work and that's the thing. After waking up and working out and like being at the gym early, you you have this high, guys. There's this high that comes with waking up early. So at work, I be sh I'm like, at work, I'm so hyper. Like I'm talking so much to everybody. I'm in a good mood. And that's why I think it's just, ugh. when I tell you, when I say you're pouring into yourself, you are pouring your into yourself and you're able to just be in a better mood for the people around you. It's crazy, but I don't know if it's just me. But I was in a good mood today at work and then I stayed a little bit later to help out and then I got home a little bit later and then I looked at the couch and I was like, ooh, that couch looks good. I needed to stretch, didn't stretch. Um, it is what it is, but I'm about to make myself some greens, put away some dishes. I'm getting myself out of the midday slump. Some ways to get yourself out of a midday slump. The best way for me, to be completely honest, is caffeine. And I hate to push caffeine on y'all, coffee. I hate to push that on you because I know there's a lot of people who are caffeine addicted and we need to stay away from the caffeine. But it is a great way to get yourself motivated again. Um, I had caffeine at work too, so that's another reason why I was probably super hyper. And I make this chai tea protein shake, which I'm on my period right now, and y'all know how I feel about protein powder, protein shakes when I'm on my period. It just gives me the ick. I don't know why. Another great way is to time block, okay? Make yourself a list, time block. Tell yourself you're only gonna sit on the couch for 30 minutes, scroll through TikTok, TikTok for 30 minutes, set a timer. Then you're gonna clean the kitchen for an hour. Boom, you clean the kitchen, you finish it before an hour. Awesome. Then you're gonna go and do X, Y, and Z for 20 minutes time block people it really does help with productivity and the last thing i can say is honestly you just got to get through it <laughs> you just got to get through it gonna come no matter how much you wake up early you're gonna deal with that midday slump every once in a while okay embrace the journey i'm here for you i'm on your side and we're going to make some greens because i feel like i'm in the mood for some greens which is weird yeah i'm gonna clean the kitchen a little bit and just be a little bit more productive like, like yeah oh she just wants to go to walmart yeah It's the next day, okay? <laughs> Yesterday when I was sitting here on the couch reading, it ends with us, your girl went to sleep, okay? And this is just literally the real, real of literally waking up early. Some days you're going to be so productive. You're gonna wake up at 4.30 a.m., work out at 5 a.m., come home, do this, do that, go to work, come back from work, clean, be productive, and end the night at 10.30 and do it all the next day, okay? And then some days you're gonna come home and you're going to be fighting for your life to stay awake. And that was me yesterday. I was literally fighting to stay awake. However, my workout was pretty lit yesterday, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I 
pushed in the gym yesterday. I sprinted at 5 a.m. in the morning, so I was doing sprints. And I lifted a little bit heavier than I'm used to, so yeah. It was definitely a more intense day for me in the gym, which is probably what really like tired me out, but I still got a lot done and I'm still so proud of myself. But I did wanna come on here and tell you guys like the real real. Cause <laughs> yesterday I was literally exhausted. Like so exhausted, it was so hard for me. Sorry, am I in focus? Okay, yeah, I was literally so exhausted. It was so hard for me to stay awake. So yeah, like today I had an eyelash appointment, which I love my lashes. I went for a little volume moment, but it's like a good natural volume moment. I didn't want it covering up too much of my eyes, like my natural eyes. Obviously it's day one, I just got these done. So you know how lashes look on day one, they're not the cutest. Yeah, I was knocked out during my lash appointment too because I was so tired. Um, but it is Friday, it's the eve of Christmas Eve, okay? We have, what, two more days of this holiday season and the Christmas season is coming to an end on Sunday which makes me so sad. Christmas season went by so fast and I just wanna say, Thank you guys so much for being so encouraging in the comment section. Like, you guys say that I motivate you, but you guys motivate me. Y'all have no idea how motivating it is to have a group of people who are just so inspiring and who just want the best for themselves. It makes you want the best for yourself too. And I thrive off of your energy and it just it just keeps me going. So thank you for always inspiring me to be my best self. I know you guys are always telling me that I'm inspiring, which I'm like, how am I inspiring? I don't feel like I'm that inspiring. But no, you guys are truly the inspiring ones. I'm so proud to have a group of people on my side every single day who are here encouraging me to be my best. This video will be posted on Monday, so happy, happy Christmas. Where am I from, the UK? Merry Christmas, guys. You will see a lot of content from me next week on the week after Christmas, but yeah, I'm gonna take a break this weekend. No workouts today, no workouts tomorrow or Christmas day, and we're picking it back up on Monday. It's about to be real motivating up in this bitch. So get ready, let's get prepped, let's get motivated for the new year. And don't let anyone make you feel bad for picking up, working out, and all that good stuff on January 1st. Do not let anyone make you feel bad about it. I know. We all know those TikToks are coming and all the judgmental people are about to be like, the gym is full of people who never come. Do, do not let those people make you feel bad. Those people get on my dang nerve, okay? B-F-F-R, you know what that spells? Be so for real. <gasps> Alright guys, let me know your tips for waking up early down below. But yeah guys, I have to wrap gifts. We're hosting Christmas this weekend, so I need to finish wrapping up gifts. We have some gifts done over here. These gifts are done and wrapped, but then we still have all of this that needs to be wrapped. And that's a sock. <laughs> but we still have all of this that needs to be wrapped, so I need to get on my wrapping game, and I think I'm gonna shower and stuff. But <gasps> Merry Christmas, guys. I love you guys so much. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>